Now let's say your boss just told you that there's a new dev team project starting eh, tomorrow, and they're gonna need Visual Studio, Power BI Desktop, Docker, and a whole bunch of more tools. And that would usually take a long time to set up and to prepare, and it's already three o'clock. So pop quiz, what's the first thing you do? With FlexApp, you can just package the app one time and then attach it to any pool and assign it to the dev team users and you're done and you get to leave work early. And app virtualization does have some great benefits, but there's still one big problem. See, these apps will get dynamically attached to the host when the user signs in. And that can add a lot of time to those sign-in experiences. And that's where Liquidware contacted me to sponsor this video. Their Flex apps are containerized, but not virtualized like App V. And they aren't baked into the image either. They're stored as virtual hard disks, just like FSLogix and AppAttach files, which means no installs, no reboots, and no messing with the registry. They are dynamically attached at login and AVD, and separately, FlexApp can be configured with on-demand and context-aware trigger point options. But in AVD, Flex apps are treated just like app attach packages, which doesn't impact the user's time at all. And the coolest part is you don't have to repackage everything as MSIX files to get all the benefits. And because Flex app integrates with your Entra IDs and your cloud storage, there's no heavy lifting involved. And Flex app has a super high compatibility rate. It's fully cloud ready out of the box. Now, first, a best practice when you're packaging applications your VM should always start out clean. You should have the base OS image and your configurations, but no other apps installed unless they're dependencies for this app. And here's how simple it is to package something complex like Power BI Desktop. And this is usually really hard because you gotta convert it to MSIX first. And in FlexApp, we get to skip that whole step. Then you just launch the FlexApp packaging console and hit create at the top. Now this new capture is gonna need a name, and a version and a description. Then you click here to select your installer and the package type should be VHDX. And this is the destination for that VHDX file. And using high compatibility will make things go much smoother. And this is the size of that VHDX and the expandable disk option type is what you want here. That way it only takes up the space that it actually needs. And that's the benefit of VHDX over regular VHDs. Just click create and in a second, the app installer will launch and then you just select all the options you normally would. And once it's done, you uncheck this box and then click finish. And now here in the packaging tool, you wanna to click finalize and the capture will happen and it'll all be stored into that VHDX file ready to be used. Just click save and there it is. Next, we need to sync the Flex apps into AVD so that we can use them as app attach files. And we do that here in the console. Just go to administration and then you wanna click here to open the AVD app attach section. Make sure that the correct tenant, subscription, resource group, host pool, and location are selected. And then you wanna click update up here and then sync packages. Now subsequent new packages are gonna be synced in real time. So there's really no need to manually sync going forward. And this process is really cool. It takes all of these virtual hard drives that you have with all their apps in them, converts them into app attached files on the fly as flex app applications. And then it's going to import them into AVD for you. And once that's all done, you can look at your inventory management and there's all of the apps. Now, if we jump over to the AVD portal, you can see when you go to app attach, there they all are. Now all the hard work's been done for you, you just need to present your Flex apps to the users as either remote apps or full desktop apps. So go to your app group and then applications on the left, then click add at the top. Select app attach here as your source and then from the next dropdown, just pick the package that you want. Give it an identifier and then click next. The default icon should look just fine. If not, you can specify another one, click next and then click add and just repeat for all of the other apps. Now, when you were on your way home, your boss texted you that he needs to get some apps installed for some new users ahead of schedule. And since you've already packaged everything as Flex apps and synced them into your AVD environment, you can just go right here into the app attach configuration and select the host pool. Then click to assign it to a new pool by just checking the box. 
and tomorrow when they sign in in the morning, everything's already gonna be set up. Now this is really all great stuff, but let's talk about what really sets FlexApp apart. Application compatibility. While MSI X and AppAttach are excellent, many enterprises still rely on legacy applications with complex installers, drivers, middleware, you name it. And FlexApp boasts one of the highest app compatibility rates in the industry, supporting 90 plus percent of enterprise applications, including those that typically can't be containerized as MSI X or traditional app layering solutions. And it's an enhancement that fits perfectly with AVD, especially when you're looking to reduce all that image sprawl and extra work and still support all the apps your business needs. Now you can check out FlexApp for yourself right over here, and you should check out this video with another way to make AVD more efficient. Happy learning.